Hey guys, what's up? In front of me, I have most of the many internal PC components whose manufacturing is affected by the silicon shortage, among other things. Now, there are shortages of other internal parts such as power supplies, but that's not due to a silicon shortage so much as it's due to uh, increased mining and stuff like that that people buy power supplies for and etc. But in today's video, I just want to talk quickly about the silicon shortage. I get a ton of questions on my Twitch about when I think it's going to end, when I think prices are going to get back to normal, and what can you buy now. And to be honest, I have no idea for the first two. I don't know when prices are going to get back to normal, I don't know what the hell is going on, and I completely blame the two companies that make graphics cards for the entire problem happening. They were greedy and they rushed their launches which caused this whole thing. Scalpers and Bitcoin miners, they definitely don't help, but they're not the ones shoving out unfinished and mid-range cards at high-end prices, with the knowledge that people will pay for whatever is newly released. But let's get into the point of this video. So in today's video, I want to talk about that third question specifically. What can you upgrade in your system now? What PC parts can you buy now that aren't as affected by the silicon shortage as others? First things first, can you upgrade your graphics card? No. In front of me, I have three pretty mainstream cards. Two of them are very mainstream and one of them is not as mainstream. You would be able to find this on eBay for a decent price as it's not a very common card normally. Except nowadays, the 5700 XT goes for $1,200 plus on eBay. The RX 580 is $400 plus for a $200 graphics card. And the Radeon 7 doesn't freaking exist. So upgrading your graphics card right now is basically impossible. CPUs. Well, let's start with Ryzen. Let's say you want to buy a new 5600X great gaming CPU from AMD. Well, it's going to cost you one to 200 bucks above retail unless you get a decent deal or have a micro center near you. And if you don't, as at least for now, although CPU prices are kind of coming down, for right now, I highly recommend waiting. So, sorry CPU, out of the question. What about older Ryzen's like the 3900X. Yeah, same thing. Even older CPUs like 3900X and stuff. Not a great upgrade right now. If you can find them, fine. But as of right now, I still highly suggest waiting to upgrade your CPU. If you can. Now, Intel. I actually don't have any of the modern Intel CPUs to show off at this exact second, so don't worry about that. But, Intel. Yeah, they have decent CPUs out, except right now, most of the reviews seem to suggest that Intel is the settler's choice. It means you settle for Intel right now. You shoot for AMD, settle for Intel. If you're going to buy a new chip, I don't really suggest buying the newer Intel, like 11th gen or even 10th gen chip. They are underpowered infernos, and I honestly don't think they're that competitively priced. So, upgrading your Intel CPU... I mean, it's it's honestly never really even an option anyway because of the way they obsolete every single socket with every generation. So if you're running Intel, you might be stuck for a little while. Now we get into the real point of this video. Upgrade your RAM. Now, I highly recommend it. If you are rocking eight gigabytes of RAM, I highly suggest upgrading to 16. Even older games, if you are running anything in the background, even if you don't realize it, can easily use eight gigs of RAM and bottleneck your system. A RAM bottleneck is the easiest bottleneck to avoid and is the worst one to have. And there's also another reason to upgrade your RAM right now. Unlike CPUs and GPUs, it is very possible to find RAM for at or around retail price. Although this probably won't be true for long. I'm not entirely sure how many people have been talking about this or not, but RAM shortage almost always follows CPU and GPU shortage. The first time there was a mining boom, as soon as it crashed, a RAM shortage started. There was a shortage of GPUs and CPUs, and then there was a shortage of RAM. Back then, I paid $300 almost for 16 gigs of Trident Z Royal. Currently, if you can find it in stock, it's about 150 bucks for that, or less. Although, I've actually found that finding things like Trident Z Royal, Trident Z RGB even, have act has actually been extremely difficult. As there is a RAM shortage, it's just taking a little bit to hit the market. So if you're planning on upgrading your RAM from eight to 16 or even 16 to 32, because terrible unoptimized AAA games, such as every Call of Duty after Black Ops 2 
and Cyberpunk 2077 or anything made by Ubisoft in the last five years are coming out and eating RAM. And with the new Ryzen CPUs, if you can manage to get your hands on one, it is great to have 3000 megahertz or higher memory. Some people advertise that you need like 4000 or 3600, although 3600 is great and all, you don't exactly need it. You may see like a two FPS increase. It's, it's not really worth it. My recommendation is to get yourself a nice kit of two by 16, 3200 megahertz. It's a great balance of speed and capacity for a decent price. This is specifically Silicon Powers X Power RAM. They sent me this RAM to use in a build and I also decided to use it in this video because it's a perfect example of an easy upgrade. A lot of people recommend if you have two eight gig sticks already to just buy two more. While that may work if you purchase the same exact sticks and if you're lucky, will not blue screen every two seconds if you don't purchase the same two stick. The way motherboards and CPUs are designed, especially in consumer applications, Two sticks is usually better than four. It also does leave two slots open if you ever really need 64 gigs of RAM. I don't know, let's say you wanna edit. Premiere Pro eats RAM. My main rig has 64 gigs, I might upgrade to 128. Why? Because Premiere Pro for some reason just loves it. If you wanna edit with Premiere Pro or other editing software, definitely go 32 gigs. Now is a good time because soon enough, there will likely be a shortage. But that's just what I heard from people who make RAM and kind of know what they're talking about. We may be able to just glide past it, but that's my recommendation to you. And as a small side note, in the same way that there will be a DRAM shortage that will affect sticks of RAM, that could affect SSDs as well. Why? Because SSDs, at least the ones that are usable, have DRAM on them. They have DRAM caches. That is what allows them to be so freaking fast. So they may also be affected by the shortage. So if you ever wanted to upgrade your SSD, let's say you have a 128 gigabyte boot and you want to upgrade to get faster textures on one of your modern garbage battle royale games, just faster load times on certain specific applications. A decent hard drive is still great for most games, but there are some games that legitimately benefit from a fast SSD. This is just a 512 gig I picked up on eBay for like $40. Soon enough, you won't be able to find SSDs like this for 40 bucks. Fun fact, look at this thing. This thing is so stupid and I love it. I know, sorry guys, this was a little bit of a weird video, just like upgrade your RAM, but it's just to answer the question I've received a lot. So anyone asking that question, what should you upgrade now? Or what can we actually buy? If you want to know what you should do right now, if you really need to upgrade your system and upgrade your storage, those are two things that can definitely just improve your system even slightly, but it's things you can buy at normal price, at least for now, while you wait to get a new graphics card or CPU. Final thing, in the description below, I have left a bunch of links to RAM that I, I generally use in my builds, SSDs that I like, and other products that I tend to use and like. So if you're looking for any recommendations for RAM upgrades or, or etc., I will be leaving links in the description below. But that's the point. Hope you guys kind of enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.